Oplosaurus. Oplosaurus, meaning armed or weapon lizard or armored lizard, see below for discussion, was a genus of sauropod dinosaur from the Barremian Age Lower Cretaceous Wessex formation of the Isle of Wight, England. It is known from a single tooth usually referred to the contemporaneous waste basket taxon Pelorosaurus, although there is no solid evidence for this. History and Taxonomy in 1852 geologist Thomas Wright reported the find of a large reptilian tooth from the Wealdon clay near Brixton Bay on Wye. Wright had presented the find to several experts, among them Richard Owen, David Forbes, George Robert Waterhouse and Samuel Pickworth Woodward but only Gideon Mantell came with a useful suggestion pointing to a similarity with the teeth of the dinosaur Hyliosaurus. Not convinced by this, Wright concluded that the tooth, in view of its sharpness, belonged to a carnivorous reptile of unknown affinities. Wright had also asked the French paleontologist Paul Gervais for his opinion on the fossil. Gervais in 1852 based the type species Oplosaurus armatus on it. The generic name would normally read as armored lizard from the Greek hoplon, body armor. The usual story about the, given the fact that Oplosaurus is not known to be armored, odd choice of name is that Gervais named this large, well-preserved tooth, holotype BMNHR964, under the mistaken belief that its owner was an armored dinosaur like Hyliosaurus following Mantell's suggestion. However, recent research by Ben Chrysler shows that Gervais compared it to Mosasaurus, not Hyliosaurus, and that the name may have been intended as armed lizard, with the teeth as the weapons of a carnivore, as hoplon can also mean weapon, although this would make the specific name redundant, as Armatus II means armed in Latin. Richard Lidecker, 1888, suggested that a maxilla with a tooth, BMNHR 751, also from the Isle of Wight, was another exemplar of this animal, but this opinion has not been substantiated. Lidecker also used the improved spelling Hoplosaurus but the original Oplosaurus has priority. Dot. The tooth is large, 85 mm, 3.35 in, tall in total, with a spatula crown 52 mm, 2.05 in, tall, comparable to Brachiosaurus, it has a pointed tip, a slightly compressed form cheek to tongue, a slight convexity to the base of the tongue facing side, and wear facets. It is vaguely like a Brachiosaurus tooth, which is why the genus has for a time been referred to the Brachiosauridae. Earlier, Oplosaurus was typically referred to Pelorosaurus following an opinion of Friedrich von Huna in 1909, although Pelorosaurus is based on fragmentary remains that do not include teeth, making it impossible to prove the identity. See Nishan Martil, 2001. For a good review of Oplosaurus and Wheeled and Sauropods in general, here is a more recent informal summation of the state of work. Given how poor the Pelorosaurus holotype material is, and that it doesn't include teeth, recent reviews have retained Oplosaurus as a potentially valid but poorly known genus. Darren Nish, a British paleontologist familiar with Wheeled and Sauropods, has suggested informally that the genus may be a pteriosaur but also co-authored an article concluding it was a member of the Camarasauridae. In any case, it likely belongs to the more general Macron area. Paleobiology As Nish and Martil point out, the tooth is comparable in size to that of Brachiosaurus, indicating that the owner was a large sauropod, as a possible pteriosaur, the size should not change drastically. It would have been a quadrupedal herbivore, possibly around 25 meters, 82 feet, long. 